A uh, little bit of terminology, and here's my talk. Okay. Um, in general, you've got a transformation T from some space B to some space W with T of B equal A times B. Okay. You have then this null space, which in the examples we're seeing has been empty. Uh, not empty, it's in of dimension zero. It consists only of the zero vector. Um, the null space is also called the kernel of the transformation T. This is the row space of the transformation. It's also the row space of A. This is the column space and um, this is the kernel of A transpose. Uh, it's sometimes also referred to um, as the left kernel of the matrix A, or the transformation A. Uh, because you multiply it on the left by the matrix A, uh, you would get zero, anything in this null space. But uh, uh, don't worry too much about that. We won't be looking at it in this course. Uh, this row space maps one to one onto this column space. Okay. Um, or the row space of A transpose. So this map is one to one. For every vector in here, there's exactly one vector over here. And for every vector over here, there's exactly one vector over here that matches it. Okay, these two vectors are unique. Um, there are other properties, um, and anything that's been assigned related to those properties, of course, you're responsible for. But I wanted to at least clear up that terminology and give you a more complete idea of the four basic subspaces. Really, the only two things I've told you is that uh, this is a kernel of your transformation, this is a kernel of A transpose. And we know then that this kernel is the orthogonal complement of the column space. Okay, That is, the kernel and the column space are orthogonal. And that's something that's no surprise we've worked out examples uh, where you find row space and null space. Um, and I, I, what did I call this? I think I'm calling this the wrong thing. Uh, the null space and the column space, anyhow, are the null space of A transpose and the column space are orthogonal. Uh, and we've worked out the fact that, um, that by getting a basis for each, uh, every basis vector here is orthogonal to every basis vector here. So that's something we should be very, very uh, secure about. Um, and then I say again, these are orthogonal complements, and uh, they add up to the whole space. That is, every vector in the whole space is a sum of one of these and one of these, and that sum is unique. These are very important properties. Um, so if you're in the 285 course, uh, you need to know more about how these things have been developed and how they hold together. But this is the overview. And of course, if you look at the videos from the final class, uh, you see the entire development. And there are many other videos behind that one if you don't understand it there. Um, OK, well, very good.